YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Now, you probably or may have heard of the Stanley Parable. It is an incredible game, like a meta commentary game with just the most insane narrations and the most cr crazy stuff that could happen in that game. Came out in 2013, was awesome, hilarious, just super fun game it's not horror by the way in case you're watching this and you're thinking like wait is this gonna be a horror game no it's mostly a comedic game and now they have brought out a new version of this game which i think still includes the old game but they have added i heard like double the amount of content double the amount of narration they play on the old game as like a joke so i i don't know what it's gonna be like i am very excited to check it out stanley parable is just one of my favorite games of all time it's so much fun i can't wait to see i hope you join me if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go begin the game i'm excited the end is never the end is never the end it's back this is the story of a man named stanley oh the voice acting let's go stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427 employee number 427's job was simple he sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the <laughs> keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly this job and Stanley was happy Stanley was happy I'm gonna turn up the audio and then one day something very peculiar happened something that would forever change Stanley something he would never quite forget oh, the nostalgia he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow no one had showed up to give him instructions call a meeting or even say hi he has a never free day. in all his years at the company had this happened this complete isolation something was very clearly wrong shocked frozen solid stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time but as he came to his wits and regained his senses he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office my smaller is that just me well, you could crouch. I never knew. You. I, I mean, probably could. Uh, let's it, increase the volume again because people say there we go. All right, here we are. There is so in case you've never seen this game before, it is like there's so many ways you could go through the game. Uh, it'll basically show itself off. I think the first time we're going to go through, we're going to do a somewhat normal playthrough just to give you guys like the, the you can't you can't jump. I press space bar. You can't jump, and I got my first achievement. <laughs> All his co-workers oh. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hello. Where's everyone? What's on the computer? I turn off the no computer. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Where are my co-workers? Dude, this office. What is, what's happening outside, though? It's complete, complete brightness outside. Hello? It's on the computer. You click on them, they turn off. What does it say? Be my Valentine? Question mark, everyone? Turn off all the computers. Will that be an achievement? <laughs> so, I hate Mondays. Nice. I can't open any door. Wait, can I open... Wait, whoa, whoa. Did I just... I don't know. I think there is some. Stanley went around <laughs> touching every little thing in the office. There is but some it didn't funny, make a like, force. Uh, nor did it advance the story it, in but... any way. Okay, okay. Stop flaming me. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> I think we're gonna do it for the first time. We'll, we'll do left first. Let's do that. Let's start off. <laughs> Just to see. We'll do right the next time. Yet there was not a Tip single for not getting fired. Either. Call class. Do unbelievable, Feeling amazing work disbelief. all the time, every day. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 
How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. The cycle continues. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all the text. I, I'm not, I can't read this far. <laughs> Everyone is unique, you most of all. Alrighty. Dude, there's stuff everywhere. To do, synergize core values expenditure, shift global market parade. Monetize free to play. Monetize free to play. Alright, Bart. It's the most important room in the game. We found it. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. <laughs> there was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. <laughs> It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Well, you're and the he one! Is, oh. He's literally just standing there doing Ooh, sweet, sweet F.A. FA. <laughs> sweet F.A. Dude, look at this. It's the best, it's the best room in the game. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? I'm clicking. Well, I'm me. doing very important Please things. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> no, I'm having fun. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. We're having a good time. Look, I can crouch and everything. I can teabag you. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. <laughs> I never would have thought to mention it. <laughs> He's already done with us. Dude, you're gonna regret ever letting me play this game, Mr. Narrator. Maybe I will to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really what? stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's I how forgot stupid that. he is. That or with drug money. <laughs> also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. I forgot that he does that. <laughs> what the hell, Mr. Narrator? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're oh. dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to <laughs> Uh, I've died? I'm actually Hello? dead. Anyone who happens to be nearby... I'm wearing headphones, my guy, I'm this sorry. computer is dead. <laughs> they have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from <laughs> the area and instruct another human to take their place, <laughs> making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I think he's done with us. I think he's done. <laughs> this is like, this is like if they made a whole game around having Conrad Stevenson's talk to you. That's this game. Uh, I'm gonna go now. I got the broom closet ending, my life's complete, let's get out of here. Ah, second player. Yep. It's good to have you on board. I'm back. I guarantee oh. you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You too? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. <laughs> the fish? Fungus? Look. You can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. What if I do it again? Dude, I'm teasing you. Dude, teabagging? Teabagging? What was that? Click? 
All right, all right, Mr. Narrator. I've tortured you long enough, I'll move on. What do you want me to do, huh? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It's, it's evil down here? It's spooky? Monka S? What's this? Why is it glowing? Wait, I can actually read it. Hi, Lenny. Wait. I must inform. All right. Well, next time. Next time. I can't read it. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Exactly. Like spending... And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? What? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh my god, I'm crazy. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too this strange. Is this can't exit. be real. Exit. And at last, he came to the conclusion Wait, that had been on the tip of his tongue. Oh. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Yes! He yelled. This is all a dream. No feet. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Um, and he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Can I fly? So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Dude, can I get on the car? He imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Holy it was shit. so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest the question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Someone now the this. voice was describing itself being considered oh my by God. Stanley, my brain is who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought ah. it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Wait. Now hearing the voice but how speak did I these float? words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make yeah, the magical exactly. stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. What am I going to do? So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Wake up. I'm through with this wake dream. Wake up. I wish it to be over. <laughs> Let me go back to my job. Let me continue <laughs> pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife. Wait, I'm walking. And my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything, Everything will, will be, be fine. fine. I am okay. Oh my God, we're still here. Help. Panic. Stanley began screaming. Ah! Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. 
I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Ow! And Ow! everything went black. I'm dead. The Bloom Cross and ending didn't kill me, but this one will definitely do it. This is the story of a woman <laughs> named Mariella. <laughs> Excuse me. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. <laughs> and although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. In that moment, she thought to herself what how lucky saying? she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment an that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. But you didn't even call anyone. You're gonna... Well, we're dead. It's over. I've died. Wait, I'm alive? I'm alive? Can I just press the buttons, please? Can I go underneath the desk? I cannot go underneath the desk. Uh, we're back. Hello? Any All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. How about we No matter else? how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, here. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary <laughs> into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Are you sick of this gag? Uh, can we select? Yes or no? A little bit. No, not ah, yet. Then in that case, oh, we'll continue. On. But yes. now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? <laughs> Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. It's a telltale oh, issue. Now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other op- All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map <laughs> until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? I hate Isn't it. this a fun it's and so unique bad. place to be? No, it's Why sucks. don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any other time. You told me to do this, like, man! Right now. Okay! Well, fuck off. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> this game's so good. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. 
Oh. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It's so it good. had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Ah, so good. All right, we're moving on. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Big grab button! <laughs> but Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Uh -oh. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, well, what have uh, I done? Da, 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 da. <laughs> From here, it's, um, left. Okay. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. You're a troll. You better not close this door on my face. I'm going to no, scream. No, no, ah! no, no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? You're like worse than what the ghost of phasmophobia. It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. I did not expect that. Uh, I actually can't go here? Who's in the car? Why oh, the headlights on? All right, red light. That means good. Uh... <laughs> No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Oh, Quick, spoilers, Stanley, close, close your, your eyes. eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just... Fired? Back to, um, what have I oh. done? Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. What have I done? How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Yes. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm? I'm sorry. Okay, from the top... I will not do that again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I will be a good boy this time. Um. When Stanley, wait, wait, what? No, I'm... no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Wait a Everything minute. Everything should be. Oh, I ruined it. Change. I broke it. Stanley. Did you change anything when we were back in that no, room? No, I didn't touch anything. I'm sorry. Did you move the story no. somewhere? Or a... You can't Hold blame on. me for this one, mister. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who yeah, wrote exactly. the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Uh, which door? I'm going... I'm going this door. Okay, I'm going completely off track now. Wait, we're looping back on ourselves? Wait, it's the back rooms now? I'm in a horror game? Just cue the... Um, just do a little bit of this. A little bit, a bit of a scary horror ambience. It's a horror game. <laughs> Help! I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can Same. promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Everyone well, knows what you did. They will They're ever just holding by back starting to let you torture again. <laughs> But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, what's that message? Are we All good of now? his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I am scared. Uh, there's no. Okay, doors. yep, it's worse. You fucked it I all, might man. I'm remembering this wrong. You ruined it. It's possible it. the story is back where we just <gasps> came yes! from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I, I'm on to this. Let's go. Maybe. I don't see any. There's a door that's open over there. You see this? You see this, Mr. Narrator? Open this door and I, I got you. 
Maybe not. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. Hello? The story. Here it comes. I'm scared again. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. <laughs> wait a minute. This is going horribly wrong. Where am I? I'm out, out of bounds. What the hell? Dude, it is a horror game. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? I well, do. Do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! We win! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so... Good job. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at I all. I do? We both know you didn't put in any uh, actual work Shut up! Win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Absolutely, I did. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Uh oh. The Stanley right. Parable Adventure Line? I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure <laughs> Line. Oh, Just boy. follow the line. How simple is that? I got this. Wait, it's going off to the right this time, so I don't go there? I'm following the adventure line. Thank you for going you on see? the boxes. The line knows where the story <laughs> the is. <laughs> it's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. The, here's a Wait, thought. this is literally Wouldn't just... Wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the I nature the of life wrong. itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about, sir? That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. <laughs> you know what? I think what we I need right now moves, is a bit of music to lighten the mood. What the fuck? What the hell? Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Ah, we're back! Oh, no, no. You've no, done it again! No, no, again, Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after <laughs> everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. Oh. It's back? Do we not trust the line this time? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, oh. daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Wait, this is not an office? It says it's an... I'm scared. We are truly in the back rooms. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, me a and new the boys. story. Well, it could be anything. It's going in circles. What do you want our story to be? Um, Go wild. Use your imagination. Dude. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. What even is? Oh, no, the not line. you again. Not the UTM Stanley. again. <laughs> I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. 
We should be fine. I'm ignoring it. I won't look at it. I'm not even. I just, what are you talking about? I, I looked at it. I'm sorry. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Let's From go. here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. It's literally the same. The confusion oh, ending? Up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. <laughs> You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight <laughs> times? <laughs> that's really how all this goes? It's Find all the line again. Determined? So now, according Simply to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Uh-oh, if don't he's gonna I forget. Why say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't. Do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer to stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? I broke the game. So. I'm, I'm alone. Okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Uh-oh. <laughs> uh the schedule must continue. I'm scared. I don't want to. I want to get the restart eight. Wait, someone. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of one thousand three hundred and twenty-seven cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Yes. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. <laughs> Thank you. I'm scared. Where's the narrator? Did I kill him? New content? New content? Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? I found the door. But what about the confusion ending? Did we win? He's back! What is happening? I'm alive? Uh, what is happening? I've never seen this before. I'm scared. What is gonna happen with the cardboard boxes? <laughs> There's just so many questions. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. We did As it. you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Money. A reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. 
<laughs> the announcer. The Stanley done. Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that I'm broadens terrified. and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Smile. Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Can I go back to the oh, other? Oh, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I like the narrator. The narrator is back. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, Nothing's... but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. What if it's all terrible? Have you thought about this? It's not even going. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Oh, uh, there, oh, there we, we go. go. Finally. All right, finally. At long last, it's on to the new content. The I've never been so more good. ready. Let's do it. Assassin Raptor taking it the 18 months. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. It's as if the... Oh, Okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. I will give you the content, mister. The jump circle? All right. All right, let's see it's... We can jump? The jump circle? Oh my god! Let's go! <laughs> we can jump! I didn't think they'd actually do it! New content, baby. I'm going. I'm is, just kidding. Is that I'm it? just kidding. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? They took away my jump. I want to begin the game again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, come on. No more elevators. Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say. Initial impressions of yeah, this, this game is, I'm are gonna not positive. give a bad review it's on Steam right now. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? Yeah, just let me let me put a Steam review up for you real quick. Uh, I, I agree. Um, one second. It's just elevators, elevators and jumping. All right, we're back to the game. And if this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh wait, there's more. Very good, yes. I knew there had to be something else. Oh, maybe Let's we'll redo it. it. I'm ready for whatever it is. What do we got here? Uh, we're back in some kind of office. Thank you for it. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers <laughs> with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason <laughs> other than to make an easy dollar. And don't I get agree, me started man. on the level of craftsmanship Come that's gone on. into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements. It's the same. And it's hard to believe one of them actually says... Test I know. achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? Dude, oh, whoops, wrong I'm thing. infuriated yeah. and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and ho oh, hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. It's all right. The, great, the, the game me, is great. Why don't we just yeah, reset let's just the game? Restart. And we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. Yeah, exactly. What do you say, friend? I would say yes. Let's restart the game. Yes. <laughs> uh, you broke everything? You fucked it, man. What have you done? It's an image of... Uh-oh. I'm scared. Mar narrator! Help! Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! 
Open the door. Ooh, I have a surprise for you. We're gonna go sus mode? I can stand- I can't stand up here! Um, coffee nut? Coffee nut? Uh oh, I'm dead. It's over. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Yeah. Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. It's Dark Souls? You made Dark Souls and Stanley Parable? Holy shit. I call it the memory zone. It's, it's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Like when you played Elden Ring for the first time? You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable <laughs> was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Independent oh, games the waste. Uh, back there? Good times. So many good times. What's over here? It's the... The clock's off. How did this happen? How did the clock... It's 10 minutes in the future. You asked me at the start of the game what the time was and you got it wrong? You're stupid. Our first kiss, my first card, the release of Stanley Parable in 2013. <laughs> my first dollar. A trip down memory lane. Smile because it happened. I'm sorry. I don't want to scare you. Oh, we died. What the fuck is going on, man? The music! What's here? Just sweet all out. In loving little Stanley! I'm sad. I'm gonna cry. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, nice Stanley like Parable that. strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, <laughs> it Persona was all 5. of them. Uh -huh. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <laughs> an hour of new elevator content. I'm so happy. Oh, I can't, I, I, what the fuck? The person of the year? It's terrifying. They got amiibos? Dude, what's down here? My review was... What the heck is this? Memory zone maintenance? I can't open this door. Maybe we'll have to go there. Fire? Everything is gonna break. Hello, narrator? The original... The end is never the end. What's going on, man? Oh, it's, an, it's a Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was it's perfect. It's a nine out of ten, though. It didn't though. need anything else. It's it didn't shit. need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. 
What have we done, guys? Why did we tell them to make another one? Move objects, create levels. Oh, baby. Uh, we can't go anywhere. I shouldn't have ordered all these stupid boxes. They're in the way now. <laughs> the serious room. God damn it. I wish I didn't order all those boxes. <sighs> these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? I'm gonna break it. It's terrible. Oh Never no. Mind. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. Uh oh. I can't even imagine what's being collected. You down don't want to be here. Surely I promise these reviews you. reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Um Lindsay, thank you for the 25 gift subs. Uh oh. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor <laughs> and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! <laughs> I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I can write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even oh, imagine man. where I'd have the room to stick them. Unfunny! Boring game. What is happening? There's so many negative reviews. What's happening? It's bad. You don't want to be here. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? <laughs> You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always... Well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh, no, he's gonna make a bad yeah. game. He's gonna what turn it into a bad game. I'm telling you, we're gonna have These Skinner boxes my and... Otherwise unimpeachable track record. Oh no. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the standard We're gonna get blue boxes. isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. It's 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 going downhill. He's getting depressed. No, Mr. Narrator. What's this one got to say? Oh no, do, don't do, read do, it. Do, do, it's do, 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 ten hours on record? Doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's <laughs> happening. That is happened. what I was thinking, though. I wish there was a skip button. <laughs> oh, my God. A skip button? Well, <laughs> well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then then maybe letting oh. you skip ahead for oh, just no. a moment. Surely it Don't couldn't do it, hurt. man. You're gonna Not if it means regret. we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Oh, what are we... And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward... Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, <laughs> but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes <laughs> and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, Dude, I don't even know if one can fuck, change man? their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how okay, Steam you... works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer oh, and longer. Oh. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? I'm scared. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's... Well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. Stanley! Stanley! St Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! <laughs> 
You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of What's the room. Here? Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it nope. from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's a plant, though. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. Oh, Stanley. You're no, back. no. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. What a Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting What have I done? Here, not a single person to speak with. Who's going insane? And you think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not vessel. the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. That if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. Oh, no. <laughs> I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? No. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. <laughs> there is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. <laughs> I felt nothing at all but regret I'm a for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. However, why have I that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only anymore. describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapse down into a single instant. In that instant, I it's could gonna see die. myself clearly. Like calmly, next one will be like 100 heart. years and he's going to be it dead by the time we get back. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could like do imagine we would be it for in what his felt place. like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events, not if all events existed in the same moment, and I felt Freed. I felt unburdened by the need to manifest a particular outcome into being. I saw that I could allow myself to exist along all timelines, and that each of them was simply a strand in the web of my being. It was incredible. The spaciousness, the equanimity of the moment, both singular and infinite. For the longest time, this was my experience. And then, this moment passed, and the most unyielding fear I have ever known crept into my mind. And it is this sensation that I have been experiencing now for longer than I could have ever expected was possible. I have been waiting for you. Not that you might save me or do something to fix it, but merely to state 
For you, the plain fact of this manner of existence, I wish you to feel afraid as I do, that perhaps one day this state of mind will consume you as well. Perhaps you will somehow, in some way, have to live as I do now, and I wish for you to know how excruciating it is, and for you to be in true terror of its eventual arrival. If I can only do this, only this one thing, perhaps it will bring me the smallest moment of peace in the darkness. What the fuck? Can we, can we beat together? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna click the button and you'll be dead. Bye. He's dead. I've killed him. What have I done? Why could I- why have I done this? Wait, it's back? The button is back. Hello? I did kill him! Give me another a thousand years. Give me a thousand years. Give me flying cars and put Elon Musk on Mars. Ow. Ow! My ears. Who put that? Stop it. Click. It's annoying. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They've been only oh, no, screaming. They stream reviews their for teeth a thousand and said, years. Entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little <laughs> thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said first he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. Ah! It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone. I pressed it. I killed him. He's so dead. I hear water. The end is never the end, 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 is never <laughs> Fuck this, this is terrifying. Silence is better. I like the silence over. Oh my god. No, no, no. What is happening? It's getting. Uh, I broke it. Like for real this time? What's gonna be with the next click? I think the world is ending. <gasps> next one, we got a way out. It's gonna fall and we can get out. Click the button. I'm stuck. Uh oh, I thought I was stuck. <laughs> that would be scary. Give me a tree, I can climb. Some more vines we can get up there. Dude, it's happening. I can see the light. Oh no, everything died? What the fuck happened? This is depressing. <laughs> Current year. Five million in the future. What the fuck? This is a horror game. Cookie Nine, what have you done? Cookie Nine, look what you've done to me. Look what you've done to me. Wait, light? It's upside down, we can leave! Uh oh. What have we done? There was only this one room. It's the apocalypse. I have survived. Let's fight Gale. Narrator, Cookie Nine, look what you've done. I feel scared walking away. I'm not gonna find my way back again. Uh oh. 
I um hello? We're back? Can you talk to me, please? How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Wait. We're back? I thought you were done for lost to forever in space and time. New con there's new new content? Really? Um, I don't believe you. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes, I'm going left. I will listen to you this time, narrator. I will. I want to hear your voice once again. Yet there was not a single person Speed here run. either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to come into a staircase. <laughs> Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I almost killed him again. <laughs> Dutch ribbon, thank you for the three months. And Cynic, thank you for the nine months. Executive bathroom. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. I've never seen this. Since when is there an executive bathroom? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's closed now. What? Holy Stepping shit. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief... I'm the most expensive this, boss. ...what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't get incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. I'm Amazing. so lucky. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Oh my God, this is terrifying. Save me. It's elevators again! <laughs> I want my money back. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. More elevator it was contact. a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Spoilers again? No, I'm be I've been following Stanley the- Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Monka W? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I didn't even mean to fall. Fuck, I wanted to look that- I'm dead. It's all over. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. <laughs> what are you talking Stanley about? Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Well, it's been fun, guys. in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. 
And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and no. shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Help. Someone save me! Pause the game. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. But no, though. I live? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you no can walk so has been created for you long Thank in you. advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see Nature that Stanley painting. was already dead from the moment he hit start? That was the revenge for skipping? Oh, <laughs> I des oh, I can turn them off. I deserved it. Wait, zero? Dude, we can click the buttons. Button sounds? What is this sound? <laughs> the fuck is that button noise? Uh, I have, I have found the dev room once again. We did it in Janitor Bleeds. We did it in Stanley Parable. I'm just breaking games left and right. It's never ending. Warzone? Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fi fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, there's so much here. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna just act as if this never happened. Unless there's something over here. Oh, wait. There's an elevator. But this is just a fake elevator. Exit! Can I leave? I'm gonna turn it <laughs> off. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. I will turn you off. Anything to say before I kill you? I killed Can myself. you see? Oh. Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Oh no, but we're back. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. We're back. We saved. We did. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. That was a, a different voice lines. That was bad. New, new content. What do you got for me, huh? Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. I'm gonna leave a negative review. So this is not good. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I got the power here. Also, I was the one who caused him to, like, go dead. It's another elevator, mister. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one oh, step even happening? further. Which sure. is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> yes, dude, we found it. 
Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few game. minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking yes, for. I've been asking for this. I'm going here. I'm not going there. Minecraft music? Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? They're back, Ultra dude. Deluxe. Deluxe. <laughs> what does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now or that's DSP an artistic DSP statement win -win. right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Uh-oh. He's gonna- he's corrupted. He's big. Wait, there's two Stanleys? <laughs> now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. Hey, but sequel. let's take a look at some of the features Co I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize Number a handful of interesting chat. concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. It's broken. Dude, what the hell, man? New features? It's a new content mobile? Can I get into the new content mobile? I cannot. No new content here. This game is, uh, like, I'm going insane, slowly. Holy heck. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Reassurance bucket. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. That's new. Hear your name in the game. I need to hear this. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first Too and most small. obvious answer Just is right. that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button, which... Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, Who the let's fuck have you is role Jim? Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I I'm promise Jim. you'll love it. I'm Jim. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, In and Jim. simply become a person named Jim. I, I want Jim. you to... Jim. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I wasn't finished setting sorry, up the sorry, backstory. Sorry. If you don't properly roleplay okay, as Jim, okay. then you'll never understand the impact of this yes. button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish Jim first. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Imagine yourself driving to work as Jim, playing frisbee on the weekends as Jim, staying up all night for a popcorn and horror movie sleepover as Jim, developing a crippling substance addiction as Jim, rediscovering <laughs> yourself through fringe religious groups as Jim, <laughs> and finally dying a slow death at an old age, surrounded by members of your cult <laughs> as Jim. Excuse me? Do you feel it in your soul? Jim's Are you really, out. truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see? What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> this guy. Ooh, it hits even harder oh. the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Gym. Oh, there, gym. cowboy. Sometimes gym. a person can gym. be too gym. much gym. gym. I'm putting the gym, gym. button away. Gym. Otherwise, gym. soon you'll start to lose gym. all sense gym. of who you actually gym. are. Gym. Gym. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what have you done? Give me Jim! No Jim? Oh, come on. I'm leaving. It's done. I'm done with this game. Goodbye. What else do you got for me, huh? I'm confused. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Oh, man. 
That would reduce a lot of revenue, though. I'm gonna go here. Please, no screenshots. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. <laughs> but I'm Fuck, undecided on terrifying. Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? What the f- what? The, both of these are awful? What are you talking about? Happy 12th birthday, Stephanie. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday, it is. Are you fucking serious? All right, well, I'm clicking this one then. I hate you. <laughs> now it's everywhere. What the hell? Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. Yes, you should. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Free, new, plus easy achievement. Get it here. Give it to me. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievements. No more steps. It just works. Get yours right now. Dude, can I now, get mine? here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Yes. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's a... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the you sequel the to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been up Roariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Alright, well, you suck. Uh, are we in the same place? Yes, we are. Why is this in some back alley? I'm a little spooked. This is a horror game after all. Wait, there's a door right what there. Other exhibits have I gone in here? No yet. screenshots. I've, come, I've been there. The jump circle. Can we jump again? Please allow me to jump you again. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back Dude, for you're Stanley becoming, Parable 2 you, you as well. You either die a hero or oh, you wait. live long enough to see you yourself You already spent all your narrator. jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. I can't even jump, man. How did you fuck this up? All right. I'm, um... Where else? What do we got? You are here. Free achievement. I tried this map is on the map. Uh, button that says the name of the player. Yes. Merch. Merch. Uh, settings. World champion. It's not here. Oh, it's there. Wait, we're right here. Settings. World champion is over here. What does it mean? It's it's this door. Where am I supposed to go? The reassurance bucket. What's this? Oh my god. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, Is it from the I engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. Setting rules it's the Stanley it's Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Yes! <laughs> Can you feel it? What the, the fuck? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. <laughs> and in fact, can I say that I do it's believe mine. the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? It's mine. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The I'm benefits shaking. of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I'm taking it. I can't keep it! I can actually keep it. I'll keep it forever. It's mine now. The button that Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? 
That really should be an award if it isn't already. Reassurance bucket. Office decorations. Okay, where else can we go? Let's see. We have the infinite hole. Oh my god, I wanna I wanna find that. That's Neil. What's over here? Is that guy turning around? Oh, it's amazing. Does the QR at the merch do anything? Is this the infinite hole? Have I found it? Collect them all? Oh god. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number this go up. Terrifying. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. <laughs> what is going on? I am so confused. Can I collect a big God, one? It really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely That's tragic. like not how that works. So you're supposed to do like this. Right? You're, I think I saw an achievement where you set every setting to every possible... Did I do it? Oh, God. Language. English. Give me back. I don't... What have I done? What have I done with the sim titles? You need to set it to every possible thing. Oh, my God. There's so many... I hope they're not going to make me... I've done, I've done almost everything you want for me. Don't res reset. The only thing I didn't do was when I clicked something here, a new setting opened up or whatever. Have I not done any, everything? Translation label size. What if I, wait, what did I want that turned on? I have, oh, it's every, everything. Oh my God. You're a piece of garbage. The story of a man named Stampy. Come on, just give it to me. Okay, there's way too many settings. I'm almost there, though. I can't do this. I control... No, I can't do the controls! I done it! I got it! Sh settings world champion! Let's go! Now what do we do? I did it? Get your... Inf I did it! <laughs> I, th I thought that would actually take forever. Look! It's gonna go back to the Steam again. Here, we got it. Set all setting sliders in the main menu on all available numbers. There you go, I did it. I'm too good. Now what? Now we... Now we got something you guys said. It's upstairs, I've done it. Upstairs, okay. I will keep this bucket forever. That's not where it is. I'm guessing it's over here then. It's not in the collectibles. Do we leave to the exit? Exit's over here. It's, we're number five. So we go through this, we go left, right, and then it should be there. Is it not there? Oh, now we get the test achievements? Can we do that now? Cause it's in this area. Oh, wait, no, we've already done Come now. You've already yeah, made exactly. your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we Shut all have up. to move on from our mistakes. You're the worst to ever do it. What is in here? I haven't checked this out yet, or have I? I'm not sure. I'm lost. You have translation labels on? What is this? Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. This is awful. I'm falling, and I can't get up. Throw the bucket. I can't, th I can't let go of the bucket. You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I'm, I do say so. I hate this. Now then, but I can fly since around, you've gotten though. to see the Woo! infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, the and we can button? continue onward. G? Well, what if I don't? 
Hmm. Actually, search for it. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of. Things. Oh, do you? Are you telling me this is not actually infinite? Are you telling me I'd hit something at the bottom? Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Oh. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. It was you infinite. found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so <laughs> clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't I want to add this to my Why review. Don't we just put all this bit. I'm gonna edit my review real quick. Edit review. The hole is also not even infinite. Behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport <laughs> button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... It's even uh, lower this time. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Yes. I couldn't help but feel you like you it? spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button. And I can't. Come I'm join hitting the, the teleport button. There had we enough? go. I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where it is even wow. okay. Yeah. I'm shrinking the hole. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the <laughs> hole is not only not infinite but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Uh -oh. Let's pop back up to the top, yes. and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. I'm, I'm, hmm. I'm clicking it. Is oh my god, are you fucking... Teleport button not working? I hate you. You sure? Well, I mean... I really don't have an explanation. Still nothing. Well, I suppose... Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with the it bad than ending? you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the People hole leave. have a wonderful rest of eternity. Hello? Is anyone here? Don't turn off the lights. I'm scared. Hello? I'm gonna jump. Give me the fucking jump button, you bitch! Help. Help!
Oh no. I'm doomed. Goodbye. I told you it's a horror game. Change your perception. <laughs> what the fuck is that face, dude? H to change your reality. Change myself? What am I? I'm upside down? This is absolutely terrifying. Stanley? 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 Oh good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley. Excuse because this me. hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. Sure. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up? to keep you really, truly focused on the hole. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll Can be I back. Go again? Toodle pip. Toodle pip? Toodle pip? Every pause button is Roman numeral two. <laughs> it truly is. Can we go back? No! I dosed off a little bit too much. No, I reached a whole ending. <laughs> oh, we're back. What the hell? Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Wait, hexes? I thought we were going to be sent back to the... Yeah, we've already... Why is it... Oh, it's popped up because I turned on the... The thing. I turned on the translation or whatever the frick. Oops. There we go. Um... Hexes? So where's this thing? Where's the... We can't get the achievement again, right? Up the stairs? What's over here? That's new? It's new? What is new? I want to see. Is it going to be an endless falling hole again? It's not actually new. It's an epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes. Yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh well, we'll figure that out later. Spoilers? You heard Jim in the game? Imagine you're actually Jim, though. Like, this game must be really weird. What if they asked your name at the start, and then if you filled in Jim, it had, like... Fine, it ended. <laughs> Mostly infinite hole. Okay, what's up this stairs? 
You haven't gotten the achievement? I have not gotten the achievement. I did get the settings achievement, though. What's over here? Great Aha, job, you did it. I can see you've gotten the settings world champion achievement. Well done. You've experienced every setting. Traveled to all corners of the settings menu. There's nothing you haven't seen. So... Just for you, in the Stanley Parable 2, I'm including oh. an entirely new setting, something called Bump Scosity. What exactly is Bump Scosity? Is well, I haven't slider? quite figured that part out yet, but I just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider, and that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. I hope you're looking forward to trying out every level of bump scosity in the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> this fucking meme. They will never set the setting sliders to every possible setting. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Wait, what did. Oh, I got bump scosity now? Where's my bump scosity? Bump scosity? Adjust to bump scosity? A thousand? What's the bump scarcity do? Dude, what is this fucking scale? Go. I bumped. I bumped! No bump scarcity? Alright, we'll leave it at a thousand. We'll see what happens. I'm confused. What else do you got for me, huh? I already tried this. I'm gonna try it again. I would like to get the test achievement on full. I did it on full and I bump into something. It doesn't do anything. Unless I need to turn it down. I don't think this works yet. I don't think he has figured it out, but I'll leave it on a thousand so that when it turns... Okay, can I... I'm gonna click the button. Maybe you figured it out by now. Come on, you got this? I'm d severely disappointed. I think we've explored everything. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. The, the the narrator doesn't know. Okay, and now we check the map. Is there anything new? Or is it restart time? I'm confused. What do you got for me? Office decorations, epilogue, the collectibles we checked, infinite hole. I th the exit! Where could you go exit? You are here. We go over here. Okay, I have seen enough of your new content. You made this whole building instead of making the new content for the game. What the? This is terrifying. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yes. Ready to move on now? Back in the hole again. No, 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 no. No more holes. I've had enough. Did this. No screenshots. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. This There's is an even bigger hole. a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and okay. we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. It's just a hole and a jump circle and a bucket and a um, collectible and a... Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's <laughs> sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. He's just yes, going to shuffle this it is around. Much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. I'm going to screenshot it. <sighs> They put Who the am epilogue. I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I oh, wanted God. more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Peacefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. 
a title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. We found it! Can I still increase my bump capacity? Let's go. They kept it in. I love that in the prequel. All right, we're going. This is terrifying. I got to unlock the sequel. And this menu screen is actually <laughs> making me dizzy. I'm going. Are we ready? Are we ready, guys? Begin the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 one. and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul renting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. That's Sally something that would forever change Stanley. We've made it. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed Get up well to give him someday. instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. The balloons are actually here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go Can to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply you missed a memo. Still do that. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a Don't trace forget of the his collectibles. Oh my god, where are they? Given to me. The bucket! I'm not gonna pick up the bucket this time. I don't need any reassurance. We've done it. I am reassured. We'll bring the bucket another time. Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, begging him to pick it up. Why was he not doing it? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I haven't listened to this guy this whole game. Shall we do it for once? <laughs> They're listening to me. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, they Stanley decided to go God. up to his boss's office, hoping what? he might find an answer there. I'm gonna real quickly update my review. Alright, we're back. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> Let us in the fucking closet. Okay, what is happening? Can we go back here? <gasps> you found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. <laughs> only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. We found you can't one. buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I will. I will, sir. I will. I am blessed. I am truly blessed. Uh, Stepping yes. into his manager's office, 
Stanley was once again stunned to discover oh, not Two, an indication of any human eight, life. Four, five? What could it mean? Stanley was wondered two, eight, aloud four, five? to nobody. He I'll began wildly it. tearing oh, through papers fuck. on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking I behind paintings, desperate for clues to his... Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> I forgot that he does that. I fucking hate you, dude. <laughs> Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Oh, you're the best man. Dude! Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. For what Gaiman? about mini Stanley? Mini Stanley? Stanley figs. Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. I hate this. I hate it here. Alright, I'm clicking. Like, will we ever reach the actual ending or not? Because I really want to click the button again. I really want to click the button again. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually <laughs> got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. I didn't even know this was a thing, by the way. I don't think I've ever done this. Wait, what's happening? Is it still here? Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive Eight. rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. I got eight, eight. Did I get an achievement? I didn't get an achievement for that. I need to fill in some more eights. One more time. How many more eights do you want? What if we got 2013? What if we do 666? What if we do Booba? Aw, oh, dang. Right, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does what he keep coming up with up all again? this? <laughs> Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? What the if suspense it's, it's is killing something me. else though? It's up to you. You're the one who decides. You're blaming me over here. Wait, it's the boss's office again. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the boss's office. <laughs> <sighs> this absolutely changes everything oh for me. Oh my god! Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. <laughs> I am so confused. <laughs> I've never seen this. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. 
I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. <phone rings> Yes! This is my favorite game of all time! Particular this section. <laughs> Alright. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Okay, I'm so good at this game. Um, Alright, I'm going. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. I think he's done with this. <laughs> I think he's done. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator, but the suspense, the <gasps> agony of waiting and anticipating oh. and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Yes. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious. So fleeting. Oh my god. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? <laughs> there we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays oh, the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want ah! big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. But where's the tension? Where's the exactly. trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The characters? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? I to agree. have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, We're Stanley. Learning. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. <laughs> Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it, which is why we're so starved for content that a lot makes us feel this sharp and vital What's all and this alive. Stuff? That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know? This people look terrifying. up to you. Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. you so that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh good, we're here. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here wait, what? somewhere. Has this been... This... Wait, am I just... Have I never found this? <laughs> I'm so confused. I've never seen this world peace baby. World <laughs> peace baby. Ah, yes. That's Here the most is. classic Just drawer noise I've ever heard. All right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise oh, in no, storytelling. Oh no! Don't do this. And what it means to craft a like truly unpredictable people. narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm. I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay, it looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. 
I got this. I have I've gathered my confidence. The Minecraft door noise. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. I am a superstar! <laughs> Down there of the <laughs> I'm gonna get a heart attack. I'm dead. I died. <laughs> what the fuck? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, uh oh. Maybe Stanley would never pick up the bucket. A lonely bucket, lonely and miserable and Stanley-less. Such a sad fate for a bucket. Minus two when plus Stanley, Stanley came less? to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No maidens? Um, door on my left? All right, we'll do it. Did you just fart in my face? I cannot jump. Now, if I, when I come here, I better see... There will be a reward for finding them all. <laughs> a large room, lots of boxes. Stairs, something to do. Nearby a fireplace. Inside a sequel exhibit. A private but smelly place for an important person. A large room, lots of boxes. Stairs, something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. We need to remind, we need to remember this. Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. Looks like 427, ha ha ha. Five, there will be just take, there will be, just take it from me. Gotta collect them all. There will be a reward. Lies! Bottom text. All right, I'm going, I'm gonna find them all. You ruined the game. It's the worst game ever made. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. But well, what's over here, though? There's an elevator. Elevator? Are you fucking kidding me? Crush me. Okay, I think we all know the drill by yep, now. Yep, blah, yep. blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. <laughs> Excuse me, dude. What if I go back up? No, we can't do it to him. The narrator is so sassy now. Banda Leo Perth, thank you for the two months. All right, we're going, we're going. We're not going back up. I broke everything. No, no, no. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, 
Okay. We've done it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed Wait. with television screens. <laughs> What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength the to find out? The spoilers? We've already been spoiled! Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Where was 427? Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom four, meant Four, two, nothing. seven. There, four, two, seven. This is going to be... But I can't be there, right? It's my office, though. Okay. I'm going to get fired for being here. Also, that one's broken. I don't know what happened to that person. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? It does exist though, the, the broken screen one does exist. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't Maybe accept a, it. Oh, His own blue and life red room. in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable. Never Wasn't it? Render. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold the reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided One, that this machinery two. would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. I will click the buttons. One. Two. Three up there. That's four. One, two, is this three? Or is that five? That's five. There's three. Three. Four. I'm clicking them. I can't go up here, you're ruining my life. What the hell, man? I need to go up there. Where's my flashlight? Gonna hug Teddy. Alright, well, I'm not doing that then. I'll instead go to the mind control f facility power and turn it off. Okay. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. I'm alive. Can I be free? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command! Freedom was mere moments away! We've and done yet, it! Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. It does. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, 
It will be his. Go back. And that was all he no, needed. No, I want to happiness. Know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley pretty? stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool Quiet breeze people happy. upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. But was I? Uh-oh. No! We're back! I thought I was gonna have a vacation. My god, the bumpscosity in here is absolutely overwhelming. A thousand? You people have got to be nuts. How can you stand this much bumpscosity? <laughs> Bump. <laughs> Figurine finders committee meeting today in the meeting room. Stanley, pick up the bucket. The bucket is evil. Bucket? Stanley picked up the bucket. Can I put it back down? I regret. Sequel is now paused. I regret. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna regret. I regret. <laughs> uh oh. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. But what if we take the bucket and don't? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, <laughs> telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Bucket! Maybe he isn't you. And here it was. Had the bucket what turned the out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Oh, thank you, bucket. The bucket is genius. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. We've never gone there. I'm going to the meeting room. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Trust a completionist instinct. Weird spinning figurines. What do they want? Saw one in the cargo room. Small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. There are many questions. There was no memo from the management. How can you tell you've spotted one? Mutt wakes them float in the air. Who took these pictures? <gasps> oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. Yes! That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. Yes. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, <laughs> but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh no, we're getting into name calling now it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? 
that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. No, Expand on the I wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Bucket. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved. They're gonna over make us years. hate the bucket? It's anti broom closet propaganda! I will not be trifled! My loyalty to the broom closet will not be tested! Okay. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. There. <laughs> now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. <laughs> Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> No, I will stay. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see, I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Oh, they better be selling that on some kind of... <laughs> they better have that as merch. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. No, and the... to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. <laughs> no. I will stay. The bucket belongs here. The bucket likes to be in the broom closet. And me as well. You will face our wrath. I will not leave. Whoa! Thank you for the 10,000 bits! I'm doing better now. I'm so glad to hear how I've been. I've been amazing. This game is so much fun. Thank you so much. Alright, he's not gonna say anything anymore. You're evil. I can't leave the bucket here? I'm going back. He doesn't want to be- But the broom needs to bucket! There's no choice. There was never a choice! Dude, I have fucking- Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Um, my review still stands! <laughs> down? Have we gone- Oh, we haven't gone down in a little bit, have we? Wait, but we have though. But this is new, maybe? Let's see. What if we go sicko mode with the bucket? Well, then we'll be, be running around with a bucket Stanley on our head. Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, check for the maybe yeah. I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal. It says property bucket. of Stanley. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no what? good would come from this. The Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence Help. of his bucket? I'm going crazy. Now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. Now he felt himself floating Help. off the ground. Oh, gracious. Holy shit, I'm flying. He exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. 
Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Hello? Literally be. He rushed all from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. <laughs> it was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. What the fuck? This is the story <laughs> of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella! Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. <laughs> But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life <laughs> kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. What the fuck, Maria? She backflipped? Wait, hello? You just got to gloss over that? Can I have my bucket Stanley back? decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Excuse? Wait, you stopped talking about the bucket? But we need the bucket. I'm taking the bucket. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. All right, I want to- Stanley wanna... clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I want to check if there's a figurine underneath the stairs, where there was the page before. Remember right at the start where we wanted to reach to read the page there? Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Fucking hell. No stickers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I hear it! Gus! Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Okay, we only have two more. I'm going back up now. Um, we found it. Boss's office. Uh, have we? Do we have? We can turn off the machine. Back here. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Smelly. Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. <laughs> Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light. Pierce the Eight. dark clouds of confusion. There you go. Chaos. Now I got the achievement. It would be with Last him time I didn't always. Get it. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. 
nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion Is it that be the a pin new number? number for the keypad new number? was 2845. Okay. Maybe the bucket will tell me again. Wait. Oh, this does not. 28. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket <laughs> moved all along? Was the bucket guiding him? The bucket! Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. What the fuck is happening? The voice in my head is talking to me. The opposite of the code. The we elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. But what if we go up now with the bucket? Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. <laughs> the bucket said nothing. What the fuck? What's the number three? Question mark? I'm clicking it. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over. Well, he said, the number three is such a special button. I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? <laughs> Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> Alright, I'm going. This is why we don't get Half-Life 3. Perhaps the bucket Thank had you, missed Thank you, bucket. Him. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. <laughs> Wait, what? A hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Should he demonstrate the number three for the bucket again? <laughs> no, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled oh, at the man. bucket, and the bucket said nothing. <laughs> the bucket man, please talk to me. Give me bucket. Here we go, said Stanley. This time, I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind, anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all, only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. The bucket has rejected us. Stanley and the bucket were so close, they'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? It's sad. The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. 
He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? Please! Oh, we're so fast. <laughs> Sit standing. <laughs> I know what to do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. It never ends. It never he decided ends. right then and there that he would hold a press conference where he would speak to the public on oh, all no. matters relating to President Number die. 3 over and over. He would elaborate fully on what Wait, the Number 3 person. meant to him and why he felt so alive when pressing it. Then the bucket would be able to see his what? joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the Did world see react to this discovery of Stanley. I've never seen a person in and this And it game. would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally understand Stanley's work. For months, he advertised and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it, until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. There's three, three. Three, 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 three everywhere. This was it. One last chance to win the bucket over. Your one opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. Three, that's the magic number. Yes, it is. A shockingly three-dimensional character. Three-star magazine. <laughs> they gave it three stars. The dude who came up with pizza? Oh my god. It's Keck W? It's Keck W? Wait a minute. It looks like Keck W. <laughs> it looks like Keck W. <laughs> Keck W came up with pizza? Really? <laughs> what the hell, man? There was no one here. Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley speak to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. He was unloved, uninteresting, he was a failure. And in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be no more games, no more long conversations about passion and pursuit, only a silence that consumed the space between friends. And Stanley, Having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. Sorry. We died! We died of sadness! What the hell, man? Maybe he doesn't All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No. No. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge it. was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open not door gone on here. his left. No, I won't. I will go here. There's still balloons Stanley here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years Do ago. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. 
Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. Penalty for driving off of cargo lift. Look, Stanley, I think we have we've boxes. gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in some... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. What the fuck? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bucket? <laughs> I need my bucket now. The confusion now. and the chaos all seemed to melt away <laughs> as Stanley exactly. embraced the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the exactly. place to be. No, nope, but we're moving and through it. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. But what if we do this Stanley now? Stanley took the door on his left to go. This back is the, to the room with all the boxes, maybe? And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance the section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. There's boxes here. I swear there must be boxes over there. Wait, what do we got? Which one do we have? We still need. Somewhere both red and blue, a large room, lots of boxes. I think it's the other one. I'm going back. Begin the game again. Oh, we're back to normal. Let's go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it I'm mean? I'm going right. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I will take Warmth bucket. spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his bucket. arms again, he was home. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the I'm, bucket I'm turned gone. out to nope. be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door running. on his left to nope, go back I will to not. the meeting room. What will you say now? No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Bucket. Getting close now, Stanley. Let's go! You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. <laughs> we'll be different people by then, different in the sense that we used to have none of them, and now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. I hate this name. This is the worst name of all time. If I fall here, I'm so dead. What if I go through the vent, though? What's here? Can we make our way down now? We're going back to the start? Uh, I'm scared. This is day number 295, tape number, <laughs> I don't even know, I've lost track, nothing feels real anymore, the longer <laughs> I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes, the sheer euphoria I feel every time i pick it up no matter how many times i've done it it's always the same feeling and the emptiness in my chest when i set it down it 
doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What high. do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. Is he all? It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. This is my but golden ticket. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? It's getting assassinated. Who's there? <laughs> just kill them. <laughs> Excuse me. They have to add a bucket. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I like work. I just hate my boss. Nice. Going to that. Going with that to your work. That'll do great things for you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold on to the magic bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone, not with the bucket around. I'm going Stanley to take the, the bucket lift tightly this time. to his This was not the correct way to the meeting and room. And we're not going to jump Stanley off. Had felt we're the not going to die to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to hey, be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley yeah, yeah, I know, I know this game. I have played it before. Room. Don't spoil this for other people. I'm trying to make. I, no, I know. Said the. I know this game. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make a story for people watching who may not have seen it bucket. to like kind of go, go through the, the endings in a in a in a somewhat fun way. So please don't. Meeting spoil room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. <laughs> all right. Good. Said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket, bucket had commanded. spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Thank you, bucket. I'm gonna get off. I will not fall. I didn't even fall. In before. here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. It's not dark at all. It's actually a bright room. I'm a little. Is this what you mean, Bucket? Oh, it's this room you talk about. Now pick up the phone, said the Bucket. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. Excuse <laughs> This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. What? Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. We're home? This is our house? This is where we live? A bucket. Where's Bucket? Bucket! There he is. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press P to take me to work with you. P? The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Chris, why is he taking me back home with you? Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Chris, I'm going back to work. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? 
Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. Press K for us to go back home. <laughs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Bucket now all friend. he cares about is this awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Proceed to ignore anyone in your life except me. <laughs> Toxic. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Fuck, you join one of us. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Prestige to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little okay. more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier, more Buckets? capable of transporting liquid. Buckets? Like it would be better at moving an amount Buckets. of water from one room to another. I didn't see him. First, why to relive this same day with me over and over again? Oh my god, what am I saying? Better I thought, at carrying water I thought the bucket was going to hit me with a club. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Press O to go home to work to home to work to home. Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings <laughs> for the bucket. No oh, no 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. I'm scared. <laughs> Stanley, give me the bucket. No! Give it to me. Give no. me the bucket, Stanley. No. I need it. Give it's it to mine. me now. Give it or I'll... Close. Go back to work, Stanley. Bucket. 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 No, telephone. Hello? Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. I'm gonna die. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, I'm really curious. The what good if you old bucket. Just stand me in the bucket. Off if you take on the bucket out of bounds. Adventure together. Yes, whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. Yes. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, <laughs> and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. <laughs> the bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed. Desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans. Excuse me? And the bucket's own complicity therein. <laughs> of sadness and regret. And the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken What's to curb fuck? the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption. And its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man. To manifest justice where none existed. And the bittersweet reality of time. To see one's dreams and wishes met halfway meted out in parcels like charity and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're a bucket! 
To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... What the... My God, Stanley, you did it. You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon what? their true what have power. I done? Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. What the fuck did I just go through? <laughs> oh no, no. Is there not a recorded message? Hi Stanley, I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll Are give you my wife? If there's anything I forgot. Thanks sweetie, see you tonight. Wait, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> it's recorded for me. Bucket. The great evil of the bucket. I will not succumb to your madness any longer. Or will we? Bucket. Bucket! Resist. Resist! Resist it! I must resist. I must resist. I wanna jump off. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew yeah, perfectly well. We must well. resist. Perhaps Gambata he wanted to will stop come. by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And here it Can was. Pass? The lounge. No. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I have a mission. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Wait, the door? Oh yeah, the door closed. All right. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. Yeah, we need a room with I red and blue. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all, all this, this time. time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Oh, really? Now listen carefully, Red and this blue? is important. Stanley walked through the red door. And there it is. The last Stigley Wig. Let's go! Save this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. <laughs> so, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. What is in that room now? We need to go back to the room of the, the figurine hunting committee. What did he say about the room? What, which one did he want me to go to? I forget. I'm just gonna go blue. Aha! <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door.
I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. <laughs> you see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Hello? Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining yes. the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Echo. Echo. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Yes. Go ahead, Stanley. Give me, this, give me the new. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. That was now, awesome. Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game yes. benefited from allowing you more choices? That was fucking Feel great. Free Middle? To be honest. Uh, maybe. That's pretty good. I'm looking for some That's real good. feedback here. Fine. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instant. Oh, three mostly, for the calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. <laughs> you can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park oh, with did? this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. In total... Dude, he finished it in two seconds? What the hell? How did he do that? Did you know that 21.3% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% of players chose to blue door. <laughs> I'm the lowest? I'm the lowest of all time? <laughs> what does... The time is also wrong. Uh, why not ask some friends? Error friend list empty. I'm so sad. 98.9% .9 of players are more attractive than... Okay, now you got it. A dat rat? I'm below a dat rat? <laughs> kind of... You piece of shit. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So... Let me get one second. I have a little, uh, little important thing for this. Why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <coughs> you heartless <laughs> bastard. Did there you can it only you... be one. One boss baby in this town. All right, get out of here. <laughs> you hate babies or purely to spite me. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm Still completely alive. out of Look ideas. At him. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. He's just, it's he's over. Chilling. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. He's still there. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. 
What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> what the hell? We're playing uh -huh. Firewatch? Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What? What's our That's new? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you <laughs> were meant to play as a creepy S. man, spying on innocent Dude, civilians we need to play below Firewatch you from again. up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. What? I'm sold. Wait, there's nothing out here, though. There's no stairs or anything. Oh, wait, there is. I just took the wrong way around. This is really... I was not expecting this at all. Where are we going? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 the, no! Don't send me back. I want to stay here. What's on the sign? It What's is. On the sign? It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. No. No! Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing. That big open, just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Oh my god, I'm something so excited. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. What is it gonna be? <laughs> okay, I it's think phasmophobia? this will be just the thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm playing Rocket Wonderful. League, let's go! See, this is exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> I, I, just a nice I said I was never gonna play this game! Random. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. I thought, I said I was never gonna play Rocket League and yet here I am. What have you okay, done to so me? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Score. Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? <laughs> Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. Oh, is there going to be We should ball? run the bases and do a touchdown together. Dude, it's yeah, huge. I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Holy shit. It's the ball. I'm going to score a goal. Let's go. Score. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I've worked so hard on? <laughs> yeah. Stanley, I have a thought. Oh and my I God. realize I'm, Dude, not I'm a so fast. Holy but shit. If one ball generates a certain mm -hmm. amount of raw and mm -hmm. pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports yes. experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yes. On my face. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. Can I I'm walk up here? Oh, I can. More balls. More balls, please. There's balls everywhere. Too many balls. I thought I could never say it, but there's too many balls. But I will score them all. Uh-oh. They're everywhere. Dude, look at those double goals. Look at this. <laughs> Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Yes. Is this a real video game? Yes. Well, I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game I'm and what fall I down. say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set bound. Hold on. What are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. I'm in the back rooms. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I've destroyed it all. <gasps> Thank you.
I'm scared. I, I'm so scared, I gotta turn down the bumpsicity a little bit. <laughs> Bumpscosity, sorry, wrong word. What have I done? Uh, there's light? Uh-oh. This is totally new, by the way. I've never seen... <laughs> I'm in missile control. I'm gonna launch them. What is happening? Who am I spying on? There's a chair? Help? What the heck? I can't open any of these doors. Wait, it's 427. It's my room, by the way. I didn't even realize. This is where I belong. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what it is that I'm supposed to be doing, but it's right here. Uh, we go over here. Never mind, we did. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Hello? The back room's ending. What the fuck? <laughs> Stanley, uh, I'm sorry, I'm... but I have to put a pause on things. It's just... <laughs> That's it's fucked with me so hard. Those figures. I Wait. haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes. Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. Okay. When Stanley Pen now remembering when Stanley Peril Stanley found the collectibles. I am this game is so amazing. <laughs> Wait, it's gone. What was here? There was something there. The zone? The Swede zone? I can't go in there. Ah, here's where it all began. Oh, yeah. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. What have I done? What have I done? I'm, I've bro broken the matrix. <laughs> and here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, can be the other Okay, game let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? The third one must have been Boss's office because I. This one was the fourth one. Then we had the. No. We found the th the fourth one. It must have been boss's office, then boxes, then under the stairs, then the red blue. The red blue one. I think it was this one. Was there even one here? I don't remember there being one necessarily here. Hey, 
That's exactly right. It was oh, here, it was here behind the boss's office. It was the third one. You yes. picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. Let's go. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Three? Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Uh, what now? <laughs> What's happening? I don't remember the pink room. <laughs> I'm scared. The boxes I do remember. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember yes. it so clearly. I do. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the I thought the he was going to steal it, so I picked it Enjoy. up already. you back oh, doesn't so it good. i spent a I lot of time myself? making that oh. video but it was eight minutes i wouldn't have spent on anything oh. else. The best transitions ever made i'm scared don't fall it's swaggy thank you for the two months there we go that was the last one it does actually remember and then that's Stanley, insane then we came to the last collectible the final figurine right here by the red and blue doors this memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others who can truly say how the mind works all i know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and i thought to myself yes that's all of them they're all collected it was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Twelve out of six. Dude, imagine that Stanley would just like all of a sudden it would go just like fucking. Like just out of nowhere. I'll go back to the game now. <laughs> Just like fucking in, insane jump scare. You are in the- And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but um, move on into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Wait, what now? We got 12 out of 6 though. What is happening? Um... No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. <laughs> Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. We're gonna get 18 figurines. Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. It's infinite. I must say, of We're all the infinite. figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most yes, distinct and clear in my before. mind. Let's keep going. I want more. <laughs> Dude, he's addicted. Someone help him. First the bucket, then the figurines. This man can't be stopped. I can't wait. We need to collect them all. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video? <laughs> yes, I we do. Yes, I love that video. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> What's with the pink room, huh? Still don't remember the pink yeah. room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. Good room, though. Good one. Oh, another one. 
These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. better the second time. Next one. Next one. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I want 18 of them, baby. So what if we go under the stairs this time instead of going back? Is this even an option? This is not an option. This looks dark and evil and scary. And I don't want to go here. Give me the toilet one. This was our second figly. Don't you I remember? I do remember. Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. And then we're gonna get 18. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? I'm concerned. 18? Stop it, man. You gotta stop. It's too much. Uh-oh. We were back here now. That's the biggest one I've ever seen, man. Uh, this was the jumping circle. Can I jump again, please? Look, it's the terrible new content <laughs> that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. The time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I... Oh, yes! Oh. The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Um, and... Oh, it's the same one. It doesn't actually matter. We're back at the very beginning. Excuse me. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. I'm a baby? I'm a boss yes, baby? I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Maybe you're yes, the crazy perhaps one. perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion. Thank you. Even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. Why don't you get a bucket? You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. Uh, don't retire I really me, please. I telling his story so very much. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man Andy named Stanley. Stanley. I'm scared. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Only Stanley wait. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We're going left this time? I'm scared. Will the bucket come with us for one last time? I think we will have to do that. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Broom closet? No broom closet? Oh, broom closet later on. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Reboot the game entirely.
what is happening. I'm scared. What is gonna happen? <laughs> dun dun dun! We have done this. Seven. Wait, no, it's not seven anymore. It's now ten! Ten... Thirty-five p.m. We've been a while. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but it told me to. I'm doing it. I'm scared, though. Hang on, hang on. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> a lot of people that take this step serious, they just link the clock at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock. <laughs> Are you calling me a little bitch? <laughs> That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whatever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. All right, I'll let you go back to the video game now. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, we're going. <laughs> we'll come back to that. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I, I'm clicking to skip. It gets better. All right, we got it. Welcome back. I got another achievement. We got to go back. Begin the game again. Resu no, we got to go back. I need to see this. I need to see my favorite time. We need to do it. Unable to sync. Please do it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my Steam cloud to sync before it crashes the whole video game and we have to start all over. There we go. It's synchronizing. We do three, 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 three. Obviously, it's the magic number. Can I set my time? Please enter the current time. I will set three. And it's also 3 a.m., which is the most haunted of times. It's 33. 3, 3, 3 a.m., your favorite time of day. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 3.33 a.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is really accurate? You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect date. Mark? Mark? Is that you? Mr. Zuckerberg? I wish we had more sliders. Well, we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm, perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip a couple new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. <laughs> what the fuck? What is going on, man? What are you doing? <laughs> what is this insane meta gaming? <laughs> we can just keep going through this. Here we go. We're going to bump scarcity again. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. It's good. Please adjust the slider until the dog <laughs> got our friends. <laughs> what the hell, man? Please adjust the slider until the number five becomes number nine. I just got freaking got. Well, I guess this one works, but are we going to go to number nine? Oh, there he is. What if, what if we do a little... What if we're smart-ass about it? Got him. <laughs> Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. 
Which of the two made up words below is more appealing to you? Akabunkal? Akabunkal, of course. Scrumtush? Akabunkal? Scrumtush? I like Akubunkal. Akubunkyoyoy. <laughs> I can't even say the word. Please don't adjust the slider. I don't, I don't touch it, man. Do you know what time it is right now? Yes, I do. Is it the time it is... Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Yes. What is the time? What is time anyway? Yes. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? No. Help. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll take it. That's a screenshot right there. Yes. Will you come back to visit me? Yes, of course. I will come back right away. I will come back to say hi. Oh, come on. Stop being unable to sink me. I need to get back to my friend. I'm scared now. What's he gonna do? <clears throat> what time is it? Yes. Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all the game settings to your exact specification, but who ha hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now, the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. You don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in this game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time. But that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. Can you all leave? I'm gonna stop the stream. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you like being alone, don't you? What the hell? That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it is time for me to leave. There is still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It is not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again. If you can find me. Talk soon. This is like... Epilogue?! I'm scared? Epilogue. Many, many years later. I remember this. I've been here before. Use this on the navigate. I'm in Squid Game now. This is terrifying. I get shot. I got shot. I moved. Fuck. I'm just kidding. It's nice and warm by the fire. Booga, 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 booga.
la 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 Sorry. The memory home is fucked? Can I reach it? Don't disappear before I reach it! We're making it. The generator's still running after all this time. I'm it's the path of no return. The point of no return. Game too scary. Hold me. What is this? Cookie Nine's blog. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel, where the first game teemed with a reg originality. The Stanley Parable 2 was dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fanbase, rather than expand what, on what made the first and game enjoyable. The sequel veers off into territory nobody has asked for, an infinitely deep hole. Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say though, I found the bucket to be, bucket to be quite comforting. A, f a welcome reprieve from... Dot dot dot. April 27! Wait, there's... There's... It's in the future? September 2027? Stanley Par Parable developers, no more spin offs, no more sequels. Can I say Jim, please? Jim, 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 Jim. Jim. Uh, Stanley Parable developers. No more spin-offs, no more sequels. When the Stanley Parable launched a massive su success in 2013, its creators made plans to build the property into an entire franchise. But a disastrous critical and commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions, as outlined in the, outlined in the press release they published today. It is clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want reads the press release. We thought that we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about, yet it turns out not, this could not have been further from the truth. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. Lowest aggregate review review scores in video game history? What the heck? More Jim? Jim, 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 Jim. Jim? I need to click all the Jim buttons. Jim, Jim, Jim. This is my favorite part of the game. Jim, Jim, Stanley. <laughs> Stanley, Stanley, Stanley. Jim, Stanley, 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 Stanley. It's me! They did fix it. The f Wait, there's more! I didn't, I thought they were just floating. What the heck is happening? Oh my God. We got 26 now! Holy shit! I'm gone. What the fuck, man? Figurine? Uh. Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stan Stanley Parable game. 
Did you read what the developers said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise? What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It is not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also really need a we also really need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead. Try combi combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. <laughs> uh Stanley's big <laughs> Stanley's big boyfriends. <laughs> Lord of the Boyfriends. <laughs> Attack on content. <laughs> Attack on mind control machine. Atomic. Stanley. I really. Stanley should be in content. <laughs> Stanley's being content. There's so much. Stanley's big boy. <laughs> Stanley Parable 3. Stanley's big boyfriends. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one and we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content, recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we f go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. Wait, I can actually say something? Let's do it. Good. That is agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you've put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I am ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. <laughs> okay. I should go the backwards way. That's faster. Oh my god, I hate you. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Stanley's <laughs> going Pepis, thank you for the tier three six months. And Cookie, thank you for the 14 months. I think we're going back in. <laughs> Oh man, what the fuck? This is the story of a man named Stanley. I know. Get the achievement? I don't know how to get back there. The bucket's not here. All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could, could it, it mean? mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. A good bucket. A strong bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. I can't open it. God. Bucket! He's back. We're gonna fight Gambada. Don't worry. New. There's more? We can go back. Oh, we can go back! Oh, new content? What does that mean? New content. Wait, did you forget everything existed? 
Excuse me, mister? I'm, I'm scared. I'm, Hello, I... and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 uh, on home this. computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Are we gonna jump again? The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley More Parable, game. delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra what Deluxe. bucket of stickers do I oh, know? Well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I'm confused. Wait, Stanley. I've just now realized. That bucket you're holding, it's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. How did you get your hands on it? Isn't this the preview to the sequel? How do you have the bucket already? What? This, this makes no sense at all. I'm gonna... I... <laughs> Hold on. Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? I don't remember doing that at all. You're seeing things all out of order. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind, dude. Okay, I have no jumps All right. left. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. It's already done. I can't jump anymore. I miss jumping. I shouldn't have used them all. <laughs> More elevator. The infinite hole, the giant door. Did you see them already? Yes. Stanley, none of them are ready yet. I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look? When you saw them, were they captivating? <laughs> were they exciting? Did they fulfill on the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly be? Had I figured out how the hell to make a sequel to this game? Oh no, what's going on, man? Stanley's boyfriend, oh, wrong way. And that's it, we did it. Wait, if you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. Yes, you carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. The bucket is the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. I did it! I win! I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable! Yes, the sign is correct. Thank you for enjoying the new content. Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you. Clinging tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. It means I've won. It means I am victorious over hey. the gamers. <laughs> it is a sweet salve of victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without oh the bucket. I win. 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 It's I win. going crazy. Someone stop him. Oh my god. Michael, thank you for the thousand biddies. Uh... <laughs> this game is so good. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm gonna not take the bucket. Wait, it's still here. Return to despair in Stanley Parable 2 Expo Hall. Let's go! We can get the achievement! Go. Oh, I'm not going that way. No, we're not taking the bucket here because we just did that. I want to get the achievement. How much have, do we have? I have six out of eleven achievements. Dude, we're doing it. What else do we got to do? What do we? We almost you see, have. Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe yes, version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget yeah, this ultra deluxe thing. nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Oh, okay. I'm so excited to get the achievement. Let's go. 
Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory I'm gonna post my all with a fully fed run sequel. On, um, An entirely new experience on built from the ground up. It's gonna Why be a so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. We already I know. figure that if I can loosely organize Test a handful of interesting concepts, here, right? that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Here we are. Go on. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided Can we decided change the balloons now? I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, no, we can't. like balloons. Oh, wait. But I'm undecided on Get Well Sunday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th Birthday, step niece it is. Oh, baby, we got our wish after all. Let's go. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe I should have gone with... No, no, I've made my decision. Give me this We're achievement. On. Give it to me. Now, here's something special. And you are we going to be surprised that it actually works this time? That got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Let's go! We got it! As you can see, the machine is not working yet. So, that... What? Wait. What in the holy hell is going on? You got the achievement? Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um... It truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. Just breathe. You know what we have to do? We have to collect another figurine and get 27. I need to see what happens. Will he be confused what that else? we already have what the other figurines? Have Where we are seen they? Yet? Uh, collectibles. Here we go. I need to see. Out of order! <laughs> You've been here already. How do you know? All right, I'm going back to the... I'm going to begin the game again. <laughs> and now all the balloons are... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, I really want to... There's this one... This one, we did it with this... We never jumped off with the bucket. Ah... <sighs> The embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched Obviously, the bucket tightly to his chest. I really want, this one is like one this of my favorite endings of all time. This was not to the times. meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee yeah, lounge one, was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned nope. out to be correct? No, 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 no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Actually, I did not. No, said the bucket. What if we don't go to the meeting what if we room? Defy go the somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Defy go to the cargo bucket. lift. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. What's Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. No, we didn't. Danger everywhere! No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless... What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? 
I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. Oh, so no. much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here. Someone take me. a shot every time he says bucket. Let me think about the two months. Is this a bucket? Now oh. then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one, is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. What the fuck? I'm... Item two, is this a bucket? Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Is this a bucket? Item three. Is this a bucket? Yes. Correct. This is a bucket. Let's go. It is. I'm so good. That's a literal tractor. Item four. Is this a bucket? What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. <laughs> it's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? <laughs> this Absolutely was a gimmick? incredible. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> it's another tractor. Is this a bucket? <laughs> Correct. This is a bucket. Excuse me. <laughs> Wait, what is Item happening? six. Is <laughs> this a bucket? Yes. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Item. Is... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around so here somewhere. <laughs> How do you do that? Okay. You and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore, nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? I said yes! Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? No? Yes? No? What's the question? It's like upside down, left inside out. I'm gonna say yes. You know what? I'm too confused <laughs> to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. <laughs> what is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Yes. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that, I'm sorry but I'm going to erase all buckets from the game. No! Okay, here we go. What happened? Is everything gone? <laughs> Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? <laughs> Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my God, I had no idea. How could, except me. I'm not a bucket after all, and you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, yes. okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Give me back.
Infinite bucket. That's all buckets. That's a small bucket. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, you've read seven out of eleven achievements. You're so most recent achievement, test achievement. You're so close. Click on door four thirty five times. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Auto click a time. <laughs> Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? <laughs> what the fuck is it? 417, that must be over. There you are. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. That's back. I'm 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 guessing, is it though? It's not bad. Oh, there it is. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Can we get door 420 though? There it is. What if you pick up the bucket now? Uh, there you are. Now, back to door number oh 437. Oh my god. <laughs> Piece of garbage. Let's see, how about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. Whoa! All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere. What if you pick up the bucket? I'm curious. 417. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. All right, I got it. We're waiting input. Input res what the fuck? Get on here. Get on the thing! Oh, here. Just go up the... Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Dude, he's so excited. I... Dude, he's, he's, he's having the time of his life. I don't think... Is door 416 here? No, it's over there. Wait, why is it not in between here? I'm confused. Hello? 416, please? Uh, there's no door 416. Wait, am I blind? Help. Four, one. It's new content. What? I don't think it exists. It's inside the new content. No way. Wait, where the heck is it? Look through the windows. I... Wait. It's inside of the new content door? I'm confused. There's nothing else. To, do we go in there? We can't go over there. The open door is leading to the... This is gonna lock you in. So you don't need to go there. Uh, There's no way it's in here, right? This locks? What? I'm confused. Wait, I can't open this. Wait, I should have... Is it in here? I think it might be incorrect. It might not be functional because of the new content door, maybe? I'm confused. It is in here? Oh, what? Okay. But he doesn't give a fuck. I think it broke. I think it broke because of the I think it I think it doesn't work if you have the new content door here. 
I think that's what it is. We got it's fine. You know that you when get the Stanley gist came of it. <laughs> to a set of two open doors. Oh, wait. He entered the door on his left. I think I, I wanna I want the bucket. You touch the other doors. It has to be Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would Stanley clutched the bucket tightly yes, to I'm his going chest. Left. And entered the I'm gonna door do the left. ending. I'm gonna do the ending with the bucket. Let's see what happens. Also, what's here? Wait a minute. Still We're back no to here. normal? Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Uh, broom closet? Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have okay, no okay, remaining okay, stickers. No more stickers. If I did, you coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's So downstairs office. we went insane. Upstairs. What if you go into the elevator with the thing? Also, why is he holding a gun to a freaking panda? Save Chris out of the... Wait, did someone... Did it say something about... Wait, what? I didn't see anything. Chris? What's going on? There was someone in the broom closet? What are you talking about? Ah. On the whiteboard? I didn't see it. Oh, save Chris out of the broom closet. In the wipe... On the whiteboard it said that, yeah. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any what human life. Crushed like by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. I'm very happy. Even now, in his darkest of hours, Dude, this is an did the bucket's Why is this chair so small compared to this? the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so The bucket did not react. Except... Except perhaps a tiny glow of warmth. Subtle, yes. But an unmistakable spark from somewhere deep within. What? Let's go! Two, eight, four, five... But Stanley guessed the correct code That's by so sheer good. luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. It is. It truly is. There are so many ways to go here. There's still like so many endings I want to see again. The it's elevator so raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Okay, now let's see if we can do it. Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place Television? hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. I don't see anything? Oh, you have to turn it on. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears <laughs> as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring hey, it that everything would be fine. Was the yeah, bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? 
Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? Hey, that's what an kinds employee. of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? So These questions raced do? furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Boop, boop, boop. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Or this for he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the Bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the Bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they high-fived in a really cool way. What does that even mean? Um, we should turn it off. Or on. Or what if we? What if we become them? But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on no, the controls. The bucket! Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How Look, how could you do this to me? Like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. What? Birds. Silly birds. Silly. Silly birds. The control buttons became active again. What the fuck? <laughs> what am I doing? Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Have <laughs> the known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. I truly am. Maybe not. <laughs> Silly birds, what the hell? Quite a pleasant amount of bumpscosity we've got today, wouldn't you say? Very enjoyable. Exactly. I turned it down a little bit. What if we go like no bumpscosity though? I'm gonna have a, let's do a little bit of no bumpscosity maybe. I'm taking you. Uh, no, I'm not taking you. The bucket will not be. I will not touch it. I want to go here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, nope. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I do. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, I just want to walk past it, actually. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. We're gonna go do that as well. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Boop. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, so much but the fact is here. that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone, someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for this is it, Stanley. For her, you didn't finish yourself, the sentence. To put your work aside, 
to let her back into your life. Remember, we She's needed to bring the waiting. milk and what is it? Sugar? What did we need to bring? Milk, sugar, and something else. I forgot the rest. <laughs> That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> No, it's definitely here, Claire's day. <laughs> Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. <laughs> How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. <laughs> this is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. I if you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. Hey, Rupert. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. This is Turn to a invasion. partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. My goodness, it is 4.30. <laughs> Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin <laughs> to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful uh -oh. and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially <laughs> insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay, thank you. Ah, Excuse welcome me? back. Danger you everywhere? Danger that everywhere? This room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. <laughs> they put you in a little cage so you can't jump up. <laughs> now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible night, before sir. the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Uh-oh. What's happening? Do not lie. What was that thing, please? Dark CD and thank you for the three months. I actually forgot what happens now. 
Are you Almost ever... there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Yes. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when go. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Ah, uh, go! <laughs> I almost broke the game. Did we, is it fine? Uh-oh, where's the table? Uh, uh, everything is broken. Ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, you, board my manager. story, you've destroyed my work! Why? What For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it, well, it's worthless <laughs> now. <laughs> and what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility <laughs> forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Like this thing is it better number. to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have oh, to shut the game down. You're gonna die? I have to. I have to. He's breaking everything. I'm scared. Help. Help. I'm in space. It's portal? I'm here. <laughs> I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. What have I done? It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground. I'm sorry. What? Did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred I'm to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Excuse? Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen Unfunny? it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... Oh, I broke it all. ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We do a little trolling. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. His behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes, 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 please. Yes, please. Door on my left, please. Yes. Yes, please. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Excuse? I'm actually so confused. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm 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 not sure. <laughs> uh, it's a new office. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Finally. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. 
Night Shark 115. Here we go. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? Are you French? Please? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Are you a princess? He but... spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Are you princess? Are you my grandma? Can you speak? Is anyone here? Where are you? I'm Help? sorry, is there a problem? I can't. You didn't miss him, did you? Please life. speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I can't speak. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? You do it. It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. <laughs> I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? What? Is everything I right? finished the game! <laughs> Stanley, this is important. I did it! <laughs> it's it been done. It what the hell? You. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept oh, whatever you do. I, I glitched into the back room. We escaped. Choose. What an incredible game. Do good. something. What have I done? Anything. Is it true ending? Is Question it mark? Then you can ever know. Based on the work of the this. Stanley Farewell 2013. Yep. It. So, you hear me? No narrator. Yeah. You should have been more appreciative of me. Okay. There is one more yeah. thing I want to do. I, d I know there's like many, many more endings, but there's definitely one more I really want to do, which is getting to the confusion ending with the bucket. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as The confusion ending was down the elevator, right? To the, to the right, to the left. To the left, to the left. To the right, to the right. No? Like down the elevator uh, when you go right All of left. his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Okay. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. <laughs> very lucky. I love how many freaking Stanley clutched lines the bucket there are for that. This was not the correct way I to know. the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Wait, did telling they, was him the other that one the that made with you? was simply the place to be. I got, and wait, here what it was. Unity, I had the bucket then? turned out to be correct? Well, no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. I fucked it. I ruined it all. <laughs> I broke it. Oh, good what if Stanley! You I'm do glad that with you the bucket, found your though. way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. Um... You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original the Stanley puzzle. Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, <laughs> like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Yes! Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. <laughs> Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. I 
It's a baby. <laughs> Why does the baby look so fucking... It looks so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the baby look like white people happy, dude? <laughs> oh man! Wee! Look at that wacky line. <laughs> Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music Wee! as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> it's, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Uh-oh. No, don't. No, the bucket must stay. The bucket cannot go. No. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. No! That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you no. agree? I cannot. I Can you guess myself. what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. What if I walk Go ahead now, it? Stanley. No. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. I'm, I'm gonna unplug it. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the Bucket. I don't know what the Bucket Destroyer will do if it can't destroy your Bucket. Destroying oh. Buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Well, sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll no. have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now. Never. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. No. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... The fucking exploded? Halo? Bucket Destroyer. Oh. My prized creation. You had so much <laughs> potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, <laughs> you were magnificent. magnificent. Oh, I can't sing the Halo theme, right? Because it'll just get copyright claimed, like, for some reason. <laughs> no. Oh, wait, we're back. We made it. Dear me, where did all the bump scarcity go? Quite unnerving in here with all of it gone. Yeah, I'm, I actually agree. I was feeling a little off as well. Let's get it back, baby. Okay, we got to just like finish the regular game as well. Like do turn off the mind control machine. Like, come on, what the bucket? It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Absolutely. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his left. chest and entered the door on his left. There's like only a few endings I can think of with the bucket. Still so no maybe, one was here. I think we can do I mean Stanley depends on how the crazy you are. I think we can do the new content endings just Perhaps like his boss's office was where quickly. he'd come into a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Yes, we will. I'm a good boy now. You can destroy Stepping the bucket. Into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to Two, discover not an indication of any human eight, life. Four, 
Crushed by the weight of this revelation, but Stanley guessed the correct code by so sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? But then the new code, of course, that's like right at the start. Him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Dude, there is so much stuff. It's amazing. <laughs> Who is the protagonist? Stanley or the bucket? You never know. Oh, we also haven't escaped yet, though. <laughs> I'm escaping. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door nope, that we read not. Mind Control Facility. Although no, this not. passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. Uh oh. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Uh oh. Whee! Uh oh. I remember. Bucket, hold me. Uh oh. We're back. There's no one talking! Talk to me! As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the Bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the Bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. Excuse me, don't... To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the Bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a Bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, <laughs> cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single right. visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently oh, not to the death. Bucket. But not. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. The it was a bucket. glorious bucket Wait, it's gone! To what the hell, man? Let it go! Bucket, welcome to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge, much like a bucket itself. The human mind is frequently empty within, a cavernous void. But through the use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and, and rich and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we have. Will you take what you learn here and take it with you in the real world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live you were, as you were? In the in ignorance and darkness. Give it back. Give me back. Can There's... you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in One, his short two, life? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Inferno Bucket, a replica of the Inferno Bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control over it. Billions died, and yet in spite of it all, the simple fact remains, no one can tr control a bucket. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is actually such an exhibit. <laughs> Cave drawing. While well, knowing that buckets predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the p practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. No man can own a bucket. And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. The 
singing bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between the bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitably, is for our own good. What the fuck? Um... Flying? But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Uh-oh. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. <laughs> we can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision of the... I'm dead. I have died. I have passed away. Yet I'm back. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. <laughs> this game's fucking wild. Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace. Protective, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compassionate. Bucket's back. Stanley clutched the bucket no, tightly we're not. to his... This we're gonna was not do something direct special. to the meeting room, but Stanley We've had already felt gone the bucket down the, calling but we to him, the telling bucket. him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I want to see what happens. Was. Since we just got destroyed, correct, why well, don't we destroy the bucket mind, instead now? The bucket we was win. Wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to I go will. back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the exit door. The bucket will die. You had the bucket transpired against me. Now you will oh, feel Stanley's wrath. Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You will feel you my see, wrath. Your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, He's like the Adventure so Line and the Broom eye. Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere new! Yes, yes! That's what the fans want! Let's we'll do, do it! My people happy. Whee! Look at that wacky line! I Who knows where weed. it'll go off to next? <laughs> oh, my and favorite played line some the silly game. music as well. Now this oh, is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember Are we ever all gonna those talk about the jokes fern? from the original dialogue? That was gonna be very oh, important. I've taken like two hundred hookers. <laughs> it's as classic now as it was back Even then. The Let's do it for the so fan, Stanley. Let's give game. them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. Yes. That's why I'm very proud to yes. introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. It will destroy Bucket. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much There's personality that to me, here. it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't I you agree? See that. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. You've got the fern on your mind. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket. And then pop it into the machine when you're ready. I can't? Now listen to me. It's I crucial can't? that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy uh -oh. your bucket. Destroying uh -oh. buckets is all Wait, it knows. It's not a that thing? That is its singular personality. I didn't even realize you couldn't do it. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with uh -oh. only one personality trait deserve to join the oh, we of the last standing parable? Uh oh, we have to go. I'm leaving. I never want to die again. The bucket cannot be destroyed. It is impossible. Stanley knew the office layout <laughs> like the back of his hand. 
It was only a matter of time we before he found the closer. others. Ah, Stanley's bucket. The only co-worker he would ever truly need. Dude, how many lines do you have? Stanley clutched the bucket, the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Yes, we do. I'm not gonna kill it. We're gonna go turn off the mind controlling. Machine. Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was yes. where he'd come into a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I need to see the regular end. The like actually listen to the guy ending. Also, Stepping I need to click into three, his manager's three office. Again. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an. Okay, kill the bucket. We've already done the that. The bucket yeah. did not react, except. There you go. Except perhaps a I'm tiny gonna interrupt glow you. of warmth. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. I need to see what happens with the machine. We did escape. What does it kill it make it stronger? You don't step in the boss's office step before um there's also stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large yeah, well, door that there was also that one ending i forgot how exactly facility. we got there it wasn't jumping off the thing it was the the room where he like creates a bunch of doors right or he the makes like a billion doors on an enormous the, room packed with around. television screens how do you get what there? horrible secret did this place hold stanley and the bucket both wondered to you themselves go you don't go downstairs because downstairs is the only Downstairs is the only ending that was that the conf that was the was that the confusion the ending? Oh yeah, so we can't. And Stanley get nearly there. dropped the bucket in shock. Oh yeah, that was everyone the in the office was we already being videotaped, the confusion ending. That was monitored where we went, like right? guinea pigs. The bucket yeah, okay, had never no. seen anything like this, and it very nearly you can't burst take into the, tears. You can't take the Stanley cradled it gently, it reassuring it nowhere. that everything would be fine. Yeah, I just want to see this. Was the bucket under the mind I, control facility's CD'd. influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of yeah, things so does a bucket stuff. want to do? Obviously, lots, or not lots to do more in stuff to explore. Place? These but questions so raised fun. furiously in Stanley's feeble The true mind. ending with the bucket? I don't know if no! it's gonna, maybe it's gonna he be. screamed into the bucket. He Just couldn't the bucket accept wanted you to pick his up own the life in someone else's control. Never! He squeezed the bucket that tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. The buckets. Did the anyone? How many times have they said the word bucket? But here game? was the proof: the heart of the operation, controls Silly labeled birds. with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored right, and so commanded awesome from this game. very place. Way too much. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls yes. for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way. <laughs> and then turned off the machine. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes. Yes, they had we done, have done it. it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy. There? He is still Freed there. Freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. <laughs> Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. <laughs> Both fuck? of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, the but it man? was one they'd lived together, <laughs> with what one another to lean man, on, though? to trust, to <laughs> support, and to... <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty, until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the Bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the Bucket, 
Oh, lengths, no, the, the light the escapes us. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long Pretty as I bad. have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. What the hell? All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could it, it mean? mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This is not the usual way. I'm taking the bucket. Wait, what the fuck is going on over there? Bucket, please? Is Stanley without the bucket really Stanley at all? No. Oh, this is just new no, bucket. surely not. I need to go. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee free the lounge bucket. We was will free the, the bucket. Be. And here it was. We will break had the, the bucket the turned world. out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. The bucket was you wrong. You can't obviously go my control. Stanley the took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. I will not. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. I want to see. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. To There's something up there I need you to do. Because we already did Stanley the jump did off did not ending. question why or how this bucket was speaking Jump to off him. with the bucket. It should have alarmed him, of man, course, because so confusing not to remember what But Stanley chose past. not to think about this the, obvious fact. This is usually the game ending. He was convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. If you don't have the bucket, but if you have the bucket, it's a... And he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. What ending? We did that already, though. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Because here Stanley wants you to pick up the phone, but what if blindly. we don't pick up the phone? Is this an option? Now pick up the phone, said... Whoa, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, can't you see? Uh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Oh, no. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. Oh, no. We're back here. What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? <laughs> and more importantly... Can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 Too degrees close. Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds <laughs> and no less than 13 and a half pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone <laughs> of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were Mark, throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. 
an effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the twelve-legged invader who threaten our very existence and who very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles, all of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us and their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme! What? <laughs> hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? <laughs> well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again, so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic oh, delivery. Let's go. Come along, let's head back. What the fuck, man? I am- is he gonna say the line? I am Dunny with the funny? I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. Yes. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Oh, man. How does this game just keep going? It's insane. Holy heck. The peaceful. All right. What do you got for me, Mr. Narrator? I need to know. I've looked this door a few times. I know you like that. Right. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. I thought I heard the back door open. It's it actually scared the shit out of me. Um, but what if we don't though? What if we like don't though? What? Uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling whelp. I think... I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Yes, surely that will help me improve my... Uh-oh. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. I'll do it this time. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke <laughs> is completely done and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. <laughs> I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Uh oh. Stanley, yes! you love the so much, it's like you... Um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions we did it. fail in comparison. We did it. I yes. think that's a good point to end it. We're Obviously, it there's again. a few more endings to scrounge I up here and there, but I had such a good time. It was super, super fun. What a... I was honestly a little bit scared, like... Is it the delivery? 
it's just Hell it's just incredible because yeah. I was a little Hell bit scared, especially yeah. at the start. I think the whole like Hell. the what's another word to describe a bucket? What are you doing, by the way? Stanley, this bucket is so the mental. whole section I mean, where you went through that like. No, Stanley Parable no, 2 no, area no, where you looked at all the gimmicks, it went on a little bit too long, which led me thinking that, oh no, I hope they're not gonna, like, run this gimmick into the ground, and then they just went absolutely buck wild with it. Like, the stuff after where you went through the game with the bucket and, like, games were, were different, and I like that you didn't always have to pick up the bucket to see some new things, uh, not necessarily, it, you do seem to have... To pick up the bucket for most of the new endings but yeah that was amazing what a fun game and then with the whole menu thing as well there were so many different endings i can't possibly call them all out in this short section because man was there lots to do and the crazy ending where you go uh <laughs> where you go uh out of the window to kill the bucket man it was awesome so yeah i obviously there's more to do uh maybe you can find some yourself if you want to check out the game i had tons of fun i really hope you did too if you've never seen this game before i'm very thankful that i got to share this with you guys over on youtube and over on twitch as well thank you guys so much for trying it out i had a great time hope you did as well if you are not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the love the gamers here in chat you can join us by twitch.tv slash instant every single day at 7 p.m century european time thank you very much for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye bye guys bye bye have a good one that was so good